would you describe that? Okay, so yeah. for those of you who might be new, how would you describe <laughs> it works like this? We take a poetic subject, mm -hmm. rainbows, the abyss of space, children's laughter, and we make that mundane. And then on the flip side, we take mundane things like plugging in electronics, <laughs> making breakfast, driving your car to work. We make those things poetic. Mason, my good friend, I have something I'd like to to post posit to you. Mason, I you there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, just... I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm not used to it being dark and silent. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've run away, so I don't have to take part in this segment. <laughs> <laughs> no. Turns okay. me into a choke artist. <laughs> No. Uh, he's joking now. Time's up. Over. Blow. <laughs> you made that joke last week. Wow. <laughs> I like that song. Okay. Yep, he's like, yeah, this ain't your mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> okay. No, wait. Z Z Z Zach, <laughs> the blonde haired white boy that likes rap, likes Eminem. No way. <laughs> Okay, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, um, I don't know what my partner would think about that, but I mean, we can ask. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, Kate. <laughs> the implication's already there. Why'd you have to come out and say it? All right, Mason. <laughs> I want you to make the death of a god. Mundane. Ooh. All right. Okay. Well, we all live in this thing called the universe. It's basically a big room that has lots of smaller rooms in it. And some people say that it was created by scientists in a lab, but I don't personally think that that one's true. I think it was created by a guy named uh, a guy named God. <laughs> Don't know what his proper name is, but you know, three letters, nice short sentence, it works. So God created Earth and he put humans on it because he was bored with just an empty planet. And then one day he thought, I'm kind of done with this planet because it's a bit crap, really. And then he died. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that, you know what that Caitlin, you know what that reminded me of? The mm. guy who that just that just sounded like something you would find in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> 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 oh my god, yes. Zach, are you, are you aware who Carl Pilkington is? I can't say I am. I'm going to have to send you some, some videos of Carl Pilkington, because that's when you ask me to do mundane stuff, that's basically who I try to uh, channel. Gotcha. Oh my god. Okay, god. Kate? Oh. Mm -hmm. I want you to make a dog puking poetic oh my god <laughs> okay <clears throat> um oh well <laughs> considering what went on last night this may not be as hard as i think um Oh, okay. Uh swirling, rumbling, grumbling. A storm is brewing. A liquid rage growing within this cavern of sinew and skin. 
my ribs contracting like vices. Who could have thought of more torturous devices? Oh, come on. I feel the rumble. I feel the quake. This is definitely more than a tummy ache. And then <laughs> it explodes in all of its <laughs> volcanic glory. And I am just left here without any control to look at its spectacular gory. In front of my face as it spews on the ground and I, <laughs> there, there is no hope to be found. Just <laughs> a quiver and shake and rattle and ache now laying here on this cold concrete ground. And I stand to my feet and look all around to make sure no one is looking before I go back and slop it up for it to start all <laughs> over again. <laughs> I, was, I was so hoping that you would have him eat it again. Uh, God, you're the best, Thank Kate. You. That was... <laughs> oh, God. That was pretty fucking good, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that made my skin crawl. <laughs> Zach, I yeah. would like you... Zach, I would like you to make... <laughs> I think you can do this, but I just sort of want to hear it. The moment that a snail is stepped on. Poetic. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> All right. All right. In the grand scheme of things, it was nothing. Just another moment in another space, lost among countless infinite combinations of such. But to one small creature, it was the end it was the beginning, the beginning of the end, and yet it was nothing. For you see, in one space, in one moment, a life was crushed, destroyed, for no other reason than wanton ignorance of its existence. It was smudged from existence by a flat, pressing abyss of sorrow and agony. And the sounds as its house crumbled around it like so many bones crunching underneath the foot of an angry god. The life saw the darkness coming and had no hope of escape. Because his mode of transportation is like wiggling with these tiny little pad things on the side of its body, leaving a trail of disgusting mucus behind it. <laughs> that snail. Oh my god. I heard the exact moment that you hit your stride then. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a few sentences where I could tell that you weren't quite sure where you were, where you were going with it, and then you hit your stride, and I heard like, like the exact moment. <laughs> when you upload it to YouTube, I'm gonna go and time stamp it. <laughs> oh God, I love it. Yes, 100% do that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Diane, you can pitch any of us a combination, or if you're game, we can throw you one. Oh, you don't have to throw me one. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Diane, make 
make storming a castle poetic. Poetic. Oh boy. That's a big one. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So the walls were shining in the sunrise. And the glare from the from the soldiers' swords and their helmets and their armor magnified the brilliance. And it was so wonderful to see that we could end it all with our catapults and our rage as we ran towards them, climbed the walls and destroyed all that light for our own sakes so that we ourselves would be that brilliance and not them. <laughs> not bad. Not, doing not, bad. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. No, damn, I, I really like that last line. <laughs> Destroyed its brilliance so that we ourselves could be its brilliance. I, yeah, I really like that. That does have a certain biblical flavor to it mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that wasn't bad yeah. that no. wasn't bad especially for being on the spot and not and not uh <laughs> you know us but yeah and it's not young, yeah and young you, whippersnappers <laughs> yeah you threw a fastball as well you were like here be Tolkien for a second <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> exactly no that was not that was not an easy one by any means <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Very not bad at all. Done. Okay. Yeah. Unless anyone has a dying need to continue this segment, we'll uh wrap it up. Well, I I think I think we could. Uh, <laughs> How would you describe that? 